Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about getting your job with a certificate. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Frederick, I have just completed a front-end certificate on free code camp. How do I get a job now? Well, I'm not sure. <clears throat> I don't know what it means to get a front-end certificate uh, at free code camp. I'm I don't have one, and uh, but I, I know the brand, uh, so I know that there is probably some edu like a fairly good education going on here. Uh, as to getting your first job now, I want you to, I will tell you how, usually how we do this thing, uh, but I also want to tell you something that is, I, I want to make this very clear to begin with. If you have a certificate for, as a front-end uh, developer, or if you, it doesn't really matter if it's if it's a certificate for a front-end position or like a uh, back-end position or whatever, uh, you should know that in the industry, usually, the developers who get their fr uh, who who get employed as a junior developer because that is what you're going to be. You're going to be a junior developer. Uh, they have on average. It can. I'm not saying that this is always the case, but the average time a d employer will look uh, look for in a candidate is going to be one to five years, roughly. That is the time uh, most software developers, who are junior software developers, uh, are going to find that that that's where roughly that the, the job requirements are. It's very rare. Uh, or rather, I'm not saying rare, rare, but it's fairly uncommon that someone with less experience than that is going to be a, val uh, a viable candidate for a position. You can absolutely, I mean, I'm not saying that this is always the case, but you, it, I just want you to be aware of that having a single certificate as a front-end developer, and I'm assuming that this is not, as I said, one to five years of investment for you, it might not be as straightforward to get a job as you might think, but I'm still going to tell you usually how to go about this thing because it's still the way to do it even if you realize that hey uh, I might have to do a little bit more investment or I might need to learn some extra stuff or take this uh, thing a little bit further it's still gonna be uh, be be the same thing so first thing first uh, you're gonna have to take a look at your CV and create ideally some type of public profile uh, using s platforms like LinkedIn and fa like social media sites and so forth LinkedIn is probably one of the most uh, well it depends on your region of course but uh, make sure that you are on the radar searchable findable that people can actually go and check you out so that's number one make sure that you create a a profile page and we're going to talk about the CV and so forth. Once you have done that, make sure that you create a GitHub account some, or any type of platform like ideally where you can post code and so forth. That's number two. The reason is simply, is sim one part is of course that now you have somewhere to store all your projects and extra stuff that you might be doing and you have somewhere to link that people can take um, uh, where people can actually see what you've been doing uh, but it also gives you a little bit of credibility and this is something that is it's a little bit fluffy but it does actually matter to uh, some people it matters more to some people it matters less uh, there are things that are very stereotypically associated with us software developers where um, it's it's the same thing for practically anybody who, who does any who has any role there are these pre conceptions about what you should be doing what things that you should know about and all these tiny kind of fluffy soft things and knowing about github or stack overflow and like all of these very common platforms that most of us use on a daily basis for different purposes is part of that so it helps your image if you have some <clears throat> if you have some of that going on and it's a very cheap I mean it's free so you just sign up for a github and I mean there is a very it's a very good service uh, and you can post all your code there apart from that I mean you can of course get yourself a stack overflow account and so forth but it's not strictly necessary but it is also a very good platform for you to sign up for if you want people to be able to find you because every now and then you actually find and find that people are uh, looking for developers through that platform and even if you're not even if it's not going to lead to inbound leads uh, where people come to you you can still find opportunities in uh, uh, on those sites as well so now that that is taken care of uh, you should start by having a look at your CV 
the first thing that you want to do is to make sure that that is in order. <clears throat> make sure that you cr uh, you can just start with your LinkedIn account. Make uh, make a nice LinkedIn profile. Make sure that you're listing out all things that are relevant to selling the f the idea that you have potential. That is number one for you because the thing is you don't have experience. This is your f you have never worked before. And if you don't have any experience, that's um, it, that's where the problem usually lies for most software developers. Experience is the gold standard of what people are looking for. Uh, nothing beats experience, nothing at all practically. But that is not the end of the world. You Because you can sell, as I said, put the idea that you have potential. So what you would do is that you would take that certificate that you created uh, or that you got and Add that as part of education and you add a picture of yourself you add a little bit of description about your value system and things like that if you're looking for inspiration you can look at I mean go to other software developers uh, LinkedIn profiles look at what they're posting uh, and try to follow along look at the nicer ones and see if you can do something similar you can go and look at mine if you would like to look at that it's not perfect by any means but it does it gets the job done and then your next uh, what you should do now is to get into a mind space where you realize that this thing here is a record of how well you're doing. What I mean by that is that the CV is something I do. Uh, I'm, I'm giving you this as a tip. I do this myself. Put a reminder every three months or something like that of the, where you go and update that thing with more stuff. So that you have a a maintenance uh, uh, that you put towards this thing, because this thing, even though it's just a piece of paper like uh, pixels on a screen that just gives you a record of what you've been doing, it is the first introduction that you will get to anybody who is looking for a software developer, and therefore you need to treat it as such. It is the it's the billboard, it is the ad, it is the search relevancy on Google or whatever. Like it is something that is very important to finding you as an individual. You still have to do other stuff afterwards, but it is a very important part. So maintain it, treat it as uh, hygiene, or treat it as uh, yeah. I think that's a good uh, analogy. Professional hygiene. It is like brushing your teeth. You need to maintain this thing, or your teeth your it's gonna rot and then start thinking about okay so on one part you're gonna have to go looking for jobs and there are many job sites that you can go and look at and then you can start applying to uh, for positions and if you find as I said that you don't have the experience or you're getting a lot of rejections try to get information from those rejections or try to take a look at what tools are actually being requested as part of the job postings that you are looking at and try to start now actually learning those tools. Try to take more courses, try to educate you, yourself even further because as I said, on average you're gonna spend one to five years doing this thing uh, if, uh, if you're gonna have a statistically good chance of getting your first job. So you, you simply take more courses and add that to your CV and keep building things because what you're trying to do is that you're trying to build up a CV, as I said, that shows that you have potential and where you, from the perspective of the employer, you're so close to being the thing that they want that they're going to go, yeah, you know what, actually let's give this person a chance because you're close enough, that's fine. Because you don't have to be a you don't have to be everything that they request in the job posting, you just have to be close enough. And remember now, make sure that if you're doing side projects and you're trying to build things and make a splash, if you're writing medium articles or whatever, try to make a bit of noise, create activity around uh, your, your identity as a software developer. Put that stuff on GitHub, put it on a public repository of some sort, and then on your CV you can link to the stuff that is extra good and just create a link to your GitHub if they want to check everything out there. Start in that area and then while you're doing the education part and making sure that you're, con you're trying to learn more and more, uh, you can go and actually ask or you send out messages to uh, to different jobs and see if they they have positions o open and just start the conversation there. So what I want you to take away from this is that first and foremost, a single front end certificate from Free Code Camp. I don't know exactly how much of an investment that is, but on average, you're looking at uh, for statistically, you're going to look at an investment of one to five years before most companies will feel comfortable hiring you you're going to be considered a junior up to maybe a mid-level software developer in that span. Uh, that is usually the time you're going to look at. Uh, and once you have 
started your path towards becoming a software developer, first things first, make sure that you have a one or several public profiles where you list out your CV, like or your background and so forth. Go and look for inspiration from others. There's tons of good profiles out there that you can have a look at and try to copy what they're doing and just add your own stuff. And then treat that CV, that public profile, as brushing your teeth. Make sure that it keeps on, you, you keep on doing it and or look at it as strength training. Try to make it a more powerful CV because that is something that will matter a lot apart from of course your technical skills and then create a github account or something like that where you can post like projects or stuff that you're doing and start creating some noise you can re write medium articles about things you're learning or you can start doing competitive coding anything that can give give weight to your cv is a good thing and then make sure that you're updating that thing and while you're doing all of these things and learning new tools go and start applying for jobs and if you're getting rejected don't sweat it it's just a, if you keep on doing this i promise you you're going to get employed at some point Make sure, however, that you try to learn from rejections, try to look at the job postings, what tools are they looking for, and then talk to other developers and try to acquire as much knowledge as you can. And then continue this process, and I promise you, you're going to be fine. Have a great day.